All right, so let's continue here and hopefully end it off. So, that's the Most High Yahweh says that he was going to send modern day Nebuchadnezzar. All right, to stir your people's mind so you can go loco out there as it is happening, right? With the Black Life Matters, the White Life Matters, okay? All this, <laughs> you gotta understand, man, was created by your enemies. You're doing their will. Okay, let's go ahead and I'll read this here. I'll leave this in the description box so you can do your own research on your free time. So this is an article here talking about MK Ultra Reptoid Mind Control Machine, and we're just gonna go ahead and I'll go right to it. It says, "Satanic ritual murder and sex abuse may be as a power source in controlling practice with key operatives in a global mind control network." As a Presidential model, Kathy claims to have, of, sorry, officiated at ritual, inf, sorry, infant sides, blood drinking, and sexual abuse ceremonies, in which the following key operatives took part: David Rockefeller, okay, Henry Kissinger, George Bush, William Clinton, Hillary Clinton. You see that? Okay. And so on and so forth here. Again, I'll leave this in the description box so you can see for yourself. But that's all we wanted to read for now. Okay. So this is the reason why, you know, Hillary Clinton has a close relationship with the Rockefellers. You understand? With the Rothschilds. Okay. With the Big Bad Wolf. That's why Hillary Clinton is running for president because they put her in office just like they put Mr. Donald Trump in office, right? So he can keep you peoples <laughs> against each other, right? White versus black, you know? Black versus Mexicans, white versus Mexicans. Native Americans versus blacks and Mexicans and everybody else. You see that? This is what he's here to 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 stir up a race a race war. You understand that? To deceive you, rather say, to to make you think that it's going to be a race war, okay? But in reality, you know, their people, you know, sorry, their plans is to uh, have Hillary win, okay? Their plans is to keep on deceiving you people so that they can bring their new world agenda. So let's go ahead and I'll read this here. In Psalms chapter 83, verse 2. So it says, see how your enemies growl. Okay, we already took a look at them growling. <laughs> we see them growling every day on the TV. All right, so it says, how your foes rear their heads. Little serpent seeds. Verse 3 says, with cunning, they conspire. The Most High God told you about Esau's craftiness. Right? The Most High God told you about the serpents, how they are very cunning. <laughs> Charming. Right? And very crafty. So with cunning, they conspire against your people. They plot against those you cherish. Verse 4. Come, they say, let us destroy them as a nation, so that Yasharal's name is remembered no more. Verse 5. With one mind, they plot together. They form an alliance against you, right? Sounds very, very familiar. Just like the time of the Tower of Babel. Genesis 11, 6. Yahweh said, sorry, let's go ahead and uh, read a few verse back. Okay, so let's go ahead and just start off from Genesis 11 and 1. It says, now, the whole world had one language and a common speech. So this is their goal, okay? This is these people's goal right here. You understand that? They want to go ahead and uh, bring in their new world order, right? They want you to worship Satan. That's that one language. That says now the world, now the whole world had one language and a common speech. Verse two. That says as people moved eastward, they found a plain in Shinar and settled there. They said to each other, "Come, let us make bricks and bake them thoroughly, right? Just like the little serpent seeds said to each other, come." Let us make an oath, right? Always, always people scheming, always. 
This is why you can't trust people. So look what it says here. They said to each other, come, let us make bricks and bake them thoroughly. They used bricks instead of stone and tar for Modar. Then they said, come, let us build ourselves a city with a tower that reaches to the heavens so that we may make a name for ourselves. You see that? So it's about me, 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 me. Can never be satisfied. You see that? So you see why the Most High God says you cannot trust nobody. Okay? Everybody, they always want what you have. Everybody's deceitful. Okay? Everybody's lying. Everybody's coveting. Okay? This is why we have to trust in the Most High Yahweh. And we must obey His laws. Like it says, thou shalt not covet. Thou shalt not steal. Okay? Thou shalt not dishonor thy father and your mother. So this is what people have done. And this is what people are doing. They're dishonoring their father and their mother. Going against their father. Going against the very laws that their father gave them. So, again, it says, Then they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city with a tower that reaches to the heavens. So that we may make a name for ourselves. Otherwise, we will be scattered over the face of of the whole earth. Verse 5. But Yahweh came down to see the city and the tower the people were building. Yahweh said, If as one people speak in the same language, they have begun to do this, then nothing they plan to do will be impossible for them. See? Why? Because they're going to be thinking that it was dumb that did it. Again, it's all about you giving your your, you know, your, your favorites is all about you giving your praises to the Most High Yahweh. As we bring out through the Spirit of Yahweh many times here. Jeremiah 3 and 13. Only acknowledge your guilts. You have rebelled against Yahweh your God. You have scattered your favors to foreign gods under every spreading tree. And have not obeyed me, declares Yahweh. Verse 14. Return, faithless people. That's the whole point. You understand that? That's the whole point. Again, Genesis 11 and 6. Then Yahweh says, If as one people speak in the same language, they have begun to do this, then nothing they plan to do will be impossible for them. In other words, you were going to become faithless. You were going to be thinking that was you, you, you. And then what happened? Well, pride, arrogancy was going to reach to the top of heaven, as it has. So, verse 7. Come, let us go down and confuse their language, so that they will not understand each other. And that's what the Most High God did. Verse 8 says, So Yahweh scattered them from there over all the earth. And they stopped building the city. Okay? So that's what's going on right now. You see what I'm saying? The Most High God says that he was going to go ahead and uh, send his terror. Let's go ahead and show you this here. And let's uh, read this in Exodus chapter 23, verse 27. It says here, I will send my terror ahead of you. And throw into confusion every nation you encounter. I will make all your enemies turn their backs and run. Verse 28. I will send a hornet ahead of you to drive out the Hivites, the Canaanites, the Hittites out of your way. Verse 29. But I will not drive them out in a single year because the land will become desolate and the wild animals too numerous for you. So this is why the Most High God says that uh, Jerusalem will be a city without walls because of the great number of people and animals in it, which represent the other nations. Okay? So again, right? This is what's going on now. They want to go ahead and uh, build another Tower of Babel, right? Because this is the reason why they're called the Babylonians. This is the reason why the Most High God says that I will give you over to a people whose language you cannot understand. That's talking about the modern-day Babylonians. Which are these people right here? They are the modern-day Babylonians. You understand that? These people here. Okay? So they're plotting with one mind against the Most High's people. As we read in Psalms 83 and 5, with one mind, they plot together. They form an alliance against you. Verse 6, The tents of Edom and the Ishmaelites of Moab and the Hagrites, Beblos, Ammon, and Amalek, Philistine with the people of Syria. And then it tells you Assyria and such and such. You understand? So all these nations, they're conspiring with one mind. 
right? And this is why the Most High God says that in these days, judgment shall come upon you people. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 25. In the day of great slaughter, what slaughter? Well, the Most High God says that he has a great slaughter in the land of Edom. Did we forget about that? So it says in the day of great slaughter, when the towers fall, what towers? Well, the towers of Babel. You understand? Okay. The Most High God told you, right? You people made your bed on a high and lofty hill. So it says here, when the towers fall, streams of water will flow on every mountain and every lofty hill. Sorry, every high mountain and every lofty hill. So this is what's happening now. The Most High God says that he's confusing the Babylonians and toppling down their tower, <laughs> their stronghold. Isaiah 30 and 26, it says the moon will shine like the sun, right? Because that's all they worship. They worship the, the, the luminaries. So look what it says here. The moon will shine like the sun and the, sun, and the sunlight will be seven times brighter. Like the light of seven full days when Yahweh binds up the bruises of his people and heals the wounds he inflicted. Okay? Again, the Most High Yahweh, he's the one that's doing this all through his spirit. He's the one confusing these nations. He's the one, you know, having them drunk with the wine of violence. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, read this in Jeremiah chapter 25, verse 10. It says, I will banish from them the sounds of joy and gladness, the voices of bride and bridegroom, the sound of millstone and the light of the lamp. Right? The light of the lamp. Who is the, you know... Come on now, who's the light of the world? Jesus, right? That's what you say. Jesus is the light of the world. <laughs> so it says here the Most High is going to uh, take away the light of the lamp. The light of the world. It says here this whole country will become a desolate waste. Wasteland. And these nations will serve the king of Babylon 70 years. As it happened. Right? That's the reason why he was on the Rockefeller. Under his MK Ultra hypnosis. Along with these other people. Right? Who conspire with one mind against the Most High God. So again, the Most High God says that in these days, the towers will fall. Okay? So all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High Yahweh. And peace, blessings, and love to the sincere as always. Shalom.